Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly 15 days ago, I made the decision to shave my beard, leaving only a mustache. And with the aid of Vaseline and water, I was able to curl the ends to kind of give it this classic look, um, reminiscent of, I don't know, a 1920s boxer or a World War I soldier. And now that it's been 15 days, I've decided it's run its course. And what I really mean by that is that the powers that be have dictated that it's run its course. Um, but I assure you she's worth it. That being said, because I have decided to shave it this evening, I wanted to take this one last opportunity to show the mustache to the world and to, I guess, share some words of wisdom based on my experiences having the mustache. You know, when I first shaved, leaving the mustache, um, it was really meant to amuse my friends and family. After all, it's not something that you see very often. It's not a common style. But I found it was almost universally praised um, by friends and strangers alike. There were, however, some people who were critical. Um, and some of these people wouldn't mince words when they described it. They said it looked out of style, um, that it looked creepy, perverted. They said they didn't understand why I would go about wearing a mustache. See, their flawed logic is that they felt that I was wearing the mustache for myself. And perhaps that was true, or I thought that was true when I first shaved, but I've come to realize that no, shaving the mustache wasn't for me or shaving to get the mustache, rather, wasn't for me. It was meant for the world. I still remember that first day at work, I was waiting in line for coffee. One of the undergraduate students came up to me and complimented me on it. She said, boy, if you grew that out even more, you could curl it, and that would really be classy. Moments later, I got in the elevator Another gentleman working in the building was so startled and delighted by it that he had to ask me if it was real. Another postdoc came on, and she too had good things to say. The next day, I was buying cheap pizza at a 7-Eleven. Three people were at the counter, and I, they called me over, and I got engaged in a 20-minute conversation about mustaches. Moments later, at another grocery store, same thing. And then there was the panhandler. I was going for a run. He asked me if I had money. I said, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm in my running clothes. I have nothing on me. I thought that would be the end of the interaction. Instead, he said, man, that's a, that's a nice mustache. And I said, oh, thank you, sir. And we got in this extended conversation. And he said, man, I see everybody else are going to work. They have their head down. They look depressed. They look sad. But you, you've got your own style. You look unique. That's why I grew the mustache. Because you know what? For the first time in my life, people felt comfortable approaching me. People felt comfortable viewing something about me, something physical, and giving me a compliment on it, discussing it with me. They were intrigued by it. Because having a mustache is something of a throwback, isn't it? To a bygone era. People forget that for centuries... The mustache was the preferred facial hair in numerous cultures. And though it has gone out of style, who knows when it will return. The mustache is a throwback to some things that were lost about our culture. That friendliness, that neighborliness. You know, so often people tell you, you have to experience new things. They talk about traveling to foreign lands, getting on plane tickets, Exploring the world. But they overlook exploring what's in our own backyard. A plane ticket to Brazil costs $2,000. Growing a mustache only costs time. And that mustache was more valuable than any plane ticket. Was, valu was more valuable than going to any other country. Because this allowed me to explore my own neighborhood to more intimately meet those around me, 
people who I'd normally not look twice at, people I normally would not communicate with, because I'm so caught up in myself, so caught up in my own world. But with the mustache, no longer was life mundane. No longer was life unfriendly. Instead, I moved aside all the busyness and hustle and bustle of our society, looking through the lens of someone who lived years ago. And I saw something beautiful. Because when you pull back the coldness, that we, the cold persona that we put up, when you tear down the brick walls that we build around our hearts, what you see is something that's truly special. And that's something that, without the facial hair, I hadn't really seen before. And so I'd like to encourage all of you, wherever you are, whatever stage of life you're in, say hello to the person with the mustache. Maybe you have a mustache. Because you know what? That was another positive interaction. When I'd meet somebody else with a mustache and we'd compare notes. So many people over the course of 15 days. But, as George Harrison said, all things must pass. And so as I prepare to take the razor to my face, I just want to again say, the mustache was never about me. The mustache was about you. And if you have a mustache, know that you're making the world a much warmer and a much friendlier place. May God bless.